Hey everybody, how you doing today? We have the Cyberpunk 2077 and I'm using this now uh, with the Legion Wi-Fi 40 17 inch 144 hertz screen. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you the best setting for this laptop and it's actually quite amazing to be honest with you. Let's play the game everybody and see what we have here. Now it's actually now unplugged uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to... By the way, speakers are awesome. All right, so just reduce the sound a little bit. Um, yeah, the speakers are really awesome, guys. If you're wondering, this is the Legion Wi-Fi 4T 17-inch RTX 2060. So let's go to the setting here. Uh, so we can show you the best setting here you can play. Now forget about 144 hertz. You're not gonna get to this uh, FPS. We will see what we have here. So it's on high textures. Field of view is 90. And if we go down here, depth of view is are on. So here, as you can see, medium, high, medium, high. We're tracing off. And with that setting, actually. We go back, play the game, and just make sure that's. Um... Okay, it's not open. Let me just open uh, MSI uh, application so you can see the FPS on the screen. MSI Afterburner. Okay. So you're gonna see it right now in the top corner, the left side, it's loading, and there you go, see here. So as you can see, we're running at 50 FPS right now. So that's a stable 60, 59, 61 FPS as you can see, pretty much, really, really nice. Also the, uh, it has a reflective background now the good thing is that you can actually disable the turbo boost and when you t disable actually the turbo boost you'll get better uh, what do you call it better thermals actually let me just show you one thing a little bit here let me just the camera for you okay so you look at here at 60, 60 FPS and 71 degrees on the CPU, 60 degrees on the GPU, stable. Uh, if we go back, go back to the setting. And let's just put it on high, like just high, simply high. And we go back. We still get 60 FPS. All right. But what actually I need to know is most importantly is this. I want to know if I'm actually disabled on Turbo Boost. So, yeah. Now, here is the throttle stop monitoring system. And using the throttle stop, you can see here that I'm running at turbo boost disabled and when I run at turbo boost disabled you get this uh, lower thermal so it's gonna hit the 70 uh, or 7 or maybe not 70 even gonna get hit uh, 65 probably maximum 65 66 and it's gonna go down the temperature is gonna go down by itself because it's actually you're limiting the turbo boost now one more thing I did I actually uh, as you can see here I did some kind of voltage adjustment underclock or what do you call it um, 
yeah, reducing the voltage. So what I did here, I clicked on the CPU catch. Oh, you cannot see from here. Let me just increase it. Yeah. So what I did here, I went to CPU core and reduced the voltage to minus 125. All right. And offset voltage as well. But I made sure that it's okay. Uh, I mean, this area. So, okay. You see this? Okay, save voltage immediately. So when I did this, and then I went back to CPU core, CPU catch as well, and I did the same. I reduced the voltage to, to the minimum and offset voltage to minus 125. Or actually, I just did minus just voltage 125 by itself. So make sure you, these two are set the same. Uh, because it's very important if you want to, uh, you know, fix the clock or maybe reduce the uh, the thermals here in the uh, the gaming. So no, ma no matter what you do, you're not gonna get th some thermal throttling because you actually disable the turbo boost on the limits. So the GPU is gonna run by itself the best way possible. Now, if you remove, let me show you why I did to disable the turbo boost because if you remove the turbo boost, you're not uh, gonna witness any FPS increase. Now the screen is actually set at 144 Hertz. So when I remove the turbo boost, it should improve the uh, CPU performance. As you can see, the uh, temperatures have been, has increased now to 75 and above, but the FPS is still the same. That's why it's better to disable the turbo boost and then you go back 62, 63, the same FPS. So that's, the, that's the point here. You want to play the best uh, thermals possible uh, and also the game is really awesome guys now people ask how can you get the 144 Hertz screen well to do 44 Hertz you have to drop it to probably medium medium gonna give you 70 you know 75 around that but if you want to go like maximum you have to go to low guys I'm sorry the game is very very demanding so not even 100 we go we're going to 90 91 like 90 91 this is what you get <laughs> this is rtx 2060 by the way so it's very very demanding guys even the new rtx uh, 3300 or 3000 series barely can handle this game um let me show you something else um you can go here and just put it on on medium okay so we want to maintain 60 fps well we don't want to go down below 60 and let's enable ray tracing but do not enable anything here just ray tracing and you get 672 74 if you go back and just disable or enable more ray tracing which is reflections you go back look at the fps Look at this, 42. Way, way, that's too much, man. That's too much cut. Um, so let's just allow the shadows of ray tracing, and we get 60 FPS. So you can you can play with shadows ray tracing around that um, number, and you can still get around 60 FPS. But other than the shadows, you know, if you want to go the lightning of ray tracing, you know, you're going to destroy the card. I mean, not destroy card. You're going to drop the FPS way, way low. So it's up to you if you want to play with ray tracing. However, you can still give the ray tracing a chance. But let me show you. This is custom. If you put it on a low. So everything is low. Everything is on off, <laughs> which is... For me, I would actually choose high 60 FPS with the ray tracing off any day because I would enjoy the details of the game with some reflections and stuff like that, but 60 FPS at high, that's what you want. Unfortunately, we cannot hit the 144 hertz, guys, because the, uh, the game is very, very demanding. So, yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. That's the uh, setting for... Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 using the Lenovo Y540. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care everybody and see you later.